All right, we are back. Um, we're just going to say that we have already cleaned all this stuff. Um, usually what I do with all my bearings, um, I will just uh, put them in some solvent like lacquer thinner or something along that, those lines. Let that soak in there for maybe five, ten minutes while you're cleaning the rest of your reel. So we're just going to pretend that we've already done all that process. And we're just going to kind of run through and do a quick lubrication and put everything back together. So. You don't need to go crazy with oil, so there's that bearing there. Oops, sorry about that. This would be a little tricky, so. It only goes on there one way, so sometimes you're going to struggle as you go getting these screws started sometimes. Sometimes it's kind of handy to get one started, and then you can kind of put the part in there as you go. Works too. Yeah, how that goes. Okay, like I said, we're going to just uh, pretend that we already cleaned all this stuff, so we're just uh, going to add a little oil to the bearings, just like that. Just a matter of lining up the screw holes there. Just getting it started there. There's that. So we're going to apply some grease. I usually will apply a little bit right over in here. You don't need much, so just a light coat is fine. We'll put a little on the gears here. Work it around. 
You don't need tons, so. Put a usually a little bit on there. Just kind of work it around the gears. Sorry about that. that like I said we're just running through this um, obviously if you need to clean all your stuff up as you go I'm just kind of helping you what you need to do and look for get that on there that just needs to be flat as it goes on so that, make sure that that's down all the way where it needs to be you need to do that clean this Apply a real light coat of grease. That'll be good. And you got your gear. Obviously, toothbrush works good for cleaning stuff like that. So clean all that as you need. Clean it up. I'll just put a Coat of grease on the gears. I always go about uh, halfway around the gear and we'll just work it in as we go. pieces here oops sorry about that all right should have uh, put this in a little bit before I meant to put the uh, gear on there a little easier. All right, here we go. Back in order. It's a matter of lining the gears up that way they mesh together. So there's that. We got your two little springs there, which will go right here. Just put a real light touch of grease on those pins. Okay, so there's that sides all cleaned up and lubricated and ready to go. As you go, you just work the gear, grease into your gears. So if you need a little more, do so. If you got too much, just wipe it off. You're all right. As long as your hold back into your reel is not full of grease, then you should be all right. So, well, and we'll also put this on while we're thinking about it. Okay, so that's all back together. So. We'll set that off to the side. All right, we do have a bearing right there. So if you're going to take that out, basically just a matter of bending these little clips out so it comes out. Um, just a warning. Make sure you put your hand over that so it won't shoot out on you. I've done that once before, so just to let you know. And just if you need to clean stuff, do so. I usually just use a little Q-tip, clean out what you need, 
and or if you need to take it out. That's fine. You can do that if your stuff's really nasty. Uh, I usually just still. Uh, you can just push that out if you need to clean all inside your reel, the side plate. So, other than that, that's about that. Let go to oil in the bearing, and there's the side plate. So I'll set that off to the side, and we got the bearing here. There's a little clip, so you know if you're going to take that out, just to be sure to put your finger over there so the a clip won't shoot off on you and fly away from into oblivion. Um, you know, if you need to use a little tweezer or something along those lines, is helpful. So, and you would at that point you'd have that bearing all cleaned up and back together. Just a light coat of oil. And there's your shaft. Just clean everything, wipe it all down. And there's that. I will usually apply just a tiny touch on the tip of that main shaft there. Just like so. Okay, so we will get back to the next edition of putting it all back together again. So we'll be back here in round three.